Alright guys, welcome back to the FIFA 19 Leicester City career mode. Now, last time out, unfortunately, the footage cut. I'm not sure what happened. It was half time. We were 1-0 down against Arsenal. It looked like... Well, we didn't really know what it looked like because uh, we didn't get to see the rest of the game. But I can confirm that we did manage to battle back and get a 2-2 draw. So in the last episode, we did pick up a win against Everton and then a draw against Arsenal. Which is pretty fantastic. I mean, it's the best we've did so far. I mean, before that, we were struggling to do anything. And then we pick up four points in two games against, you know, two of the better sides in the Premier League. So I'm delighted with that, man. Fucking fantastic. And uh, you can look at the standings. We're in 17th place. That draw against Arsenal did see us move out of the relegation zone. And now we're looking to push on. I don't want to be in the relegation zone again this season. I want to push on, I want to start moving up the table. I mean, Arsenal and Liverpool have had horrible starts. You can see them in 15th and 16th respectively. They'll be expecting to, you know, make amends for that and push on up the table. And if they can do it, so can we. Moving on to the Premier League top goal scorers, all I can say is, thank God, Jamie Fardy wasn't in that plane crash because he has been on absolute fire. And uh, the plane was probably on fire too, but Jamie Fardy is... Beyond that, man, he's on a totally different level. The guy is insane at the moment. Seven goals in nine matches. The top joint scorer with Harry Kane. All joking aside, rest in peace, man. I'm probably going to get a bunch of people slabbering to me in the comments there. But, I mean, what, a bit of banter is what it's all about. So, uh, yeah, you can see Jamie Fardy, like I said, joint with Kane. They've got Lerma behind him with six goals. And then Rondon and Sani the next after that on five. So, Jamie Fardy... Massive for us this season. If we if he gets injured or if he like demands a transfer request or something like that, I honestly don't know what we'll do, guys, because he's like the only guy that can score a goal, man. It is uh, pretty it's pretty worrying. So in today's episode, we've got West Ham at home and then Cardiff City away. Uh, you can see after that as well, we've got Burnley and then Brighton and then Watford, Fulham. So... We've got a lot of winnable games coming up and we really need to do just that. We need to win them. We need to start putting points on the board. I know West Ham's going to be a difficult game, but I feel if we can get the win here and then the next four or five games, we really could be looking at maximum points. So this is where our season has to change. It's now or never. We could go on a great run here and move ourselves up to the top of the table or we could fucking bottle it, guys, and be in a relegation fight this season. I don't want that. Let's get into the game and uh, hopefully get all three points. Now you can see the team that we're going with, pretty strong, arguably our strongest 11, Jamie Fardy obviously up front and uh, hopefully he's got his shooting boots on today like he has the rest of the season. Well, Here we can see the West Ham lineup, Fabianski in Nets, Fredericks, Oxford, Rice, Cresswell, the back four, very inexperienced centre-back partnership there. Got Aurier Noble in the middle of the field, Antonio Lancini and Suleimani up on the right and I missed it who was up front I didn't actually get it I think it's Lucas Perez but um, again I don't think that's the strongest West Ham lineup at all I think they're here for the taking we're at the Empire Stadium let's go and do this let's get the three points and uh, yeah man let's move up the table well it's Piera Ricardo Piera definitely one of our key players I think for us Jimmy Fardy made a good run there offside in the opening seven minutes and I think he definitely has to try and expose that young centre-back partnership and almost did it there and arguably, well, he's he's just offside. You could argue there's two Leicester players offside there but whether Rice and Oxford can contain him for the 90 minutes remains to be seen. Not rushing it here. Moving from one side to the other. Lanzini with Mikhail Antonio. Oh, that's great play, man. West Ham have completely uh, taken us to the shops there, man. Completely destroyed us. And I don't know where fucking Lancini thinks he's going. He's going all the way over to his manager for a hug. And I don't know. I don't know what that's all about. Is the manager showed faith in Lancini? Should Lancini not have been playing? I'm not quite sure why that is. Um, but it's a great goal, man. And they don't deserve it. They don't deserve to be in front, but I can't take it away from them. Piera, looking to play through Gray, he's got him, and Gray now will keep on running here, Gray turns back, looks for a cross in, it's not the best, going to fall for Chilwell, he gets over to Piera, 
Vieira looking for the cross. It's dangerous. Fardy was there, but couldn't get the head on it. Fardy plays it to Madison now. Out to Albrighton. Albrighton to Madison. It's Nindidi. Nindidi plays it to Piera. Piera, nice wee turn there across the impact post. Albrighton comes in and he's... I don't know if he's hit the post. He's hit something. But he's not hit the back of the net. Oh, he's hit the... He's hit the pole, holding up the post, or holding up the goal nets. That's not good enough, man. Albrighton with a great chance to send it into half-time. Level. Tom's referee's given a little bit of leeway. Ibora. Ibora, Ibora. Madison tries to play through Jimmy Fardy. Fardy could be away here. It's a decent touch. It's Jimmy Fardy with a shot. It's blocked. It's going to be a corner. Fardy just didn't seem to have the pace there over the West Ham defender. Madison now with the cross in, head all the way again. Wes Morgan picks it up, horrible touch. A bit lucky with the bounce, can we win this? We can, it's going to be Ibora, he takes a shot. And it's just over the crossbar. Oh my god, and West Ham have finished it. We're, we're pushing, but we're leaving ourselves open at the back, and unfortunately it's allowed Aurier to get the goal. 16 minutes to go. It's going to be highly un highly unlikely that we'll get back into this. We'll try our best, man, but it looks like we're going to lose here. It's Madison. Madison trying to find Chilwell. He's found him. Chilwell looking for the cross into the back post. Madison, can he get the head back into the box? It's going to fall for Gray. Cross it back in. It's ah, we can't get it. Nindidi. To Madison. Shelby. Oh, goal. It's a chance. John, pick up the ball, you bald bastard. What are you doing? John Joe Shelby refusing to give his team a chance here. It was a good goal. Well, well executed. Madison, I think they're playing through the pass. Shelby hitting it first time. Finesse and. I mean, it gets us back in the game, but we'll bring on Silver for the last the two fucking seconds, man. But I really don't think we're going to be able to. Probably won't even get another chance. Probably won't get a touch of the ball. It's sick, man, but it looks like that's going to be what happens here. And he's only added a minute on, so. No, he's added three on. Have we won the throw in here? I don't think we have. And the referee gives Jimmy Fardy a yellow card, and I've no idea what that's for. We have won the throw in. Silver, Shelby. Any actual? Any actual? Still any actual? Looks for the cross back post. It's a chance! I think it's Madison. I think he's got, oh my god, I think Madison and Silver looked as if they got in each other's way. He's headed it down low. And normally that would go in, but it's fucking bounced off the... The amount of power he's put on it has actually bounced off the floor and went over the bar. Keeper was beaten. I cannot believe that. What an opportunity we had there. To steal a draw. We didn't do it. We probably didn't deserve to do it. And that is that's hard to take, guys. We should have we should have got the draw there. I cannot believe we've missed that. And you can see, man, we only had one shot on target. Not good enough. We need to be more clinical than that. Tight game could have been either way. This time it's went to West Ham. And even after that defeat, we remain outside the relegation zone. Albeit Brighton behind us do have a game in hand. Brighton yet to win a game. Five draws, four defeats, no wins. And uh, yeah, so I mean, we just we need to be more clinical. Up next, we have Cardiff. Cardiff in 19th place, a team that we really should be beating. Like I say, is we do have a run of easier games coming up now, so it's now or never. We've got West Ham out of the way. We knew that was a tricky fixture, but there's no excuse now not to go on a, a three or four game winning streak, and that's what we need to do really to move up the table. We're on six points. Everton there, who are on ten points, nine in front of us. They're in the top half of the table. I mean, if we can put a, a good run together, we will quickly move up the table, just like Arsenal and Liverpool will as well. But it's okay saying that. We need to get the job done. We need to score the goals, and we need to get the three points. All right, guys, so just one change from the team that lost to West Ham. We're bringing in Shelby in for the injured Ibora. Ibora's going to miss seven days, but to be honest, after Shelby's lovely finesse goal, he probably should be starting anyway. But here we go. We need to turn the season around here. 
I've got a feeling if we don't win this, we could be sacked. The manager rating is shit. Cardiff are shit. We may as well end the shit run here. Go Jimmy Fardy, do we trying to hold the play up? Trying to wait for some Leicester players to got him help him here. Not really the case so far. Madison controls it, plays it through to Ndidi. He's going to look for Fardy, and Fardy almost got on the end of it there. That'll go down as a poor cross, really. Here goes Gray. Oh, a nice wee turn for Gray. He's trying to get away for Lara. Now, this is an interesting He's attack. taking his man. Unmarked it's going to be Gray looking for the cross. It's in towards Fardy. He's taking the deflection. Fardy out to Shelby. Ndidi with a chance to strike it. He does. It's took another deflection, and it's going to be a corner. Best attack we've had so far, and it took us 25 minutes to muster something up. Can we capitalise from this corner? It's going to be all Brighton. Sent towards the box. And it looked like it was going to be Jamie Fardy to meet it there. But instead it's going to be another corner. All Brighton set for the delivery. It's coming in towards Fardy. Chests it down. But the ball runs away from him. And it's Junior Holly at now with a chance to counter. But Fardy chasing all the way back. Tracking back. Winning the ball for his team. And then Didi. Well, how defensive have they become at the moment? Just sitting in their own half. It's Chilwell. The opposition pass the ball around it's the Shelby. Ball. Shelby takes a shot. And it's another good save from the keeper this time. And it will once again be a corner. Set to be delivered in from Madison. Again, the delivery not the greatest. And it will be Ricardo Piera who picks it up this time. Piera running at the Cardiff defence, he's trying to get through, plays it to here. Shelby, who plays through in Didi, who plays through Jimmy Fardy, who gets a shot blocked, and again it falls into the goalkeeper's hands. There you go, so half time man, it's a pretty, it's a boring game to be honest, Cardiff came out pretty fast, had a few chances, decent saves to Smeichel, then we came into the game a bit more, began to take over possession, had a few shots, but nothing great, um, no real... Um, cut, clear cut chances so we're just going to have to keep on going and hopefully grab a winner in the second half That's a keeper's ball. The referee has awarded this free kick. for what? how has he got a free kick when the goalkeeper almost got killed? I don't understand that it's Michael catches it anyway so it was pretty irrelevant but Ball well, comes in, it's header at the back post, it could have been a goal, it's went out for a corner instead, Junior Hoylet ready to take it, delivery comes in, it's header towards goal, Smeichel though leaves it and it is out for a goal kick. Oh we've won it, and we're trying to play Jimmy Fardy through and Jimmy Fardy could get it here, Jimmy Fardy is away, it's Jimmy Fardy, oh he's put it wide, I don't believe it, the top goal scorer has put it wide. And that'll be two games now without a goal for Jamie Fardy. And we knew if we lost them, we'd be in trouble. But maybe if the goals dry up, we could also be in trouble. Because apart from Fardy, no one really looks like scoring. And I can't believe he missed that. Jesus Christ, we've lost it. I don't believe it, we've lost it in the, la the 90th minute. It's one of the leakiest we've ever seen. And they are behind yet again. Look at the defenders hanging their heads. I just do not believe this. I, I don't know where we go from here, guys. Well, the team is falling apart. I repeat, Leicester are falling apart. Sahur with the goal. And unless we can get a rapid response, we're going to lose to Cardiff. Cardiff. And they will leapfrog us and move out of the relegation zone. Man, this is embarrassing. It's Jamie Fardy. He's played through Gray, and Gray gets his back in it. I mean, <laughs> we've rescued a point, but is it really good enough as a point against Cardiff? Really, what we're after? It was good, pre uh, good play from Fardy. Twisting and turning his way past the defenders. Slots through Dimitri Gray, and uh, Gray puts it past the keeper. So that will probably be the end of the game. I don't think we'll, I, don't, I doubt any team's going to get another chance. And all that's left really is for the ref to blow the whistle, which he does. And uh, we've got a draw against Cardiff, so at least we didn't lose, but it's just not good enough, is it? A point, really. Looking at the stats, can't really argue with it. A point apiece is probably a fair result, so 
we'll take it and we'll just move on. And to end the episode, we've just received a message from the Leicester board. And uh, they have acknowledged that we're not on track. We're well aware of that and we need to try our best to fix it. But uh, we can't do nothing until the next episode. I'm fucking disgusted, really, with how, we're, how bad we've been. We've actually dropped back into the relegation zone now. So, see, seven points out of 11 games. Egypt have gave us an international management offer. Why they would want us, I have no idea. The following players have been lured away by other clubs and signed to their youth academies. Oh, great. Can't even keep the youth players, man. Everything is <laughs> just going wrong. Uh, but like I said, up in the next episode, we will have Burnley. We'll be taking on Burnley. and uh, it's, it's one of those games we've got to win. Like I said, we do have a, a load of games coming up which we should be winning. But Cardiff was also one of those games. So you don't even know. I don't even know if we're going to win or not. You see, our manager rating now down to 57. Things are uh, looking pretty bleak for us. Arsenal still having a shocking season there. Only five in front of us, and we've been terrible. Liverpool have moved up the table slightly. They are in 12th place at the top, though. Uh, you can see Bournemouth still continuing there. A great start to the season, up now up into second place. Crystal Palace as well, been fantastic. Uh, Man City still the only team undefeated, currently uh, running away with the league. Well, I say running away with it. They're only one point in front, but they do have a game in hand. You've also got Chelsea up there, Spurs, Man United. Uh, even you've got teams like Huddersfield un overperforming. And uh, overachieving in seventh place, so uh, yeah, it will be interesting, guys, to see how we get on in the next episode. I think, depending on how results go, the next episode could be our last episode. The board are not going to take much more of this. Like I said, we've got Burnley at home, and then Brighton away. It's two games that we really, really have to try and win. Uh, not just because we're battling them for relegation, but just because how poor we've been. Only one one out of eleven. It's not good enough, our defence is leaky. Our scoring's okay, even though we're relying on Jamie Fardy too much. I'm I'm not concerned the amount of goals we've scored, but the amount of goals we've conceded is just not good enough. Only Cardiff, well I was going to say only Cardiff have conceded more. That's a lie. We've, we've actually conceded one goal more than Cardiff, so um, we definitely need to do something about that, and hopefully we can in the next episode. But until then guys, this has been the Leicester Career Mode. Until next time, peace.